Hello everyone, and welcome. I'm Kev Kev, your favorite degenerate, and today I want to talk about the Halo TV show, because I have been a bit silent on this end. Personally, I wanted to wait until I had seen episode 2 to get a rough idea of the direction that the show was going in. And I gotta say, I think it does a couple of things, just, just a couple, really nicely. But, there are a lot of decisions that, to me, just don't add up. I feel as if the characters, the lore, and the IP itself has been just piggybacked on, which is similar to other forms of gaming media that have started to come out more often in recent years. In my opinion, there were a couple of decisions made that just don't respect the existing style of Halo. A good example is Master Chief taking off his helmet a lot. So I will cover other things about the TV show in the future, but for today, I'm just going to focus on the idea of Master Chief being without his helmet. Because before the show even came out, we were given articles and interviews from the showrunners telling us that they are going to be taking the helmet off. And to be honest, the way that they explained it to me made a little bit of sense. Because it's a different form of media and viewers have to connect with the character. So it can be difficult to achieve that connection when you aren't taking off the helmet. So in a very, very small way, I can understand where they're coming from. At the end of the first episode, Master Chief takes off his helmet and it is underwhelming to say the least because there's no build-up. It happens so soon in the length of the season that there's just no significance to it for new fans. People who are fans of the games will feel betrayed and new fans won't appreciate what they have got. So it overall doesn't benefit the story or the show. After seeing episode 2, I can't help but feel like the Chief has spent more time without his helmet on than he has spent with it on. And that is a terrible red flag, dumpster fire, everyone take a step back, what the shit is this? <laughs> now specifically talking about the scene where Chief takes off his helmet, if I was in charge of the show, I would have kept this camera angle where you can see the helmet is off but you just can't see the Chief's face. That's what I would have preferred, because in my eyes, that continues with the same style as previous Halo games. But after seeing Episode 2, I think that fans who don't like to see Chief without his helmet are gonna get even more annoyed, because of one simple reason. He keeps taking the goddamn helmet off. <laughs> I don't understand why though, because there are certain moments in Episode 2 where the Chief is lugging around the Forerunner object in one hand and the helmet in the other hand, and it's just such an awkward position for the actor to be in. You can see that it's just so impractical and it doesn't make sense. It feels so forced. And to existing Halo fans, it just honestly communicates to us that you don't respect the style and the existing IP. You know, Halo the TV show exists because of the games. So if you're going to make choices which go against the games, then why on earth would you think your fans are going to enjoy that? Just to be clear, I don't have anything against Pablo Schreiber. I think that this is purely a producer decision that was made just for the sake of it, honestly. Now, I'm gonna try and not go into a rant about this, but when you say in interviews that you didn't make this decision lightly, but then you take off the helmet in the first episode, I mean, I'm no expert here, but that seems like it's really freaking hypocritical. <laughs> like, in my thoughts, I would have built up to that throughout the entire season if you really wanted to take off the helmet. Like, 
do something similar to Mandalorian where you have that mystery building up the whole season and you have people wondering what the chief looks like under there, having those strategic camera angles similar to previous games, respect the IP and then take the step forward of unmasking him at the very end when it has significance and has meaning. Don't do it at the start and then continue to keep taking it off again and again. Like I said before, people who haven't seen Halo in any form of media will not appreciate it and the people who are diehard Halo fans won't enjoy that. So in the end, no one actually ends up winning. I mean, that's my thoughts on all of it, but let me know what you all think in the comments section down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. It's all part of the great journey. So join me. I've been Kiv, and I'll see you all on the next one.